Hey guys, so today on my channel I wanted to show you guys my eyeshadow collection and I thought we can get a little in depth today with it and show you guys majority of the palettes that I have and if you guys like this type of video please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more videos for me and let's get into this so currently right now i'm using this one drawer and this second drawer to hold all of my palettes a lot of different places i hold makeup but this is the two eyeshadow drawers so eyeshadow drawer number one this is the tasha denona retro palette that i have used maybe like once or twice maybe i have a tutorial on my instagram um i have a lot of tutorials um on my instagram and in tiktok you guys can check out i just recently got this palette as well the tartlet full bloom palette which i did a little bit of a first impression but i need to try this palette out more i do a lot of like cleaning out um my eyeshadow palettes like two three times a year palettes that i'm using not using this is a Pat McGrath palette. This was like a limited time palette. It's like really pretty. It's like really pretty limited eyeshadows. Super pretty, super pigmented. This is an Urban Decay palette, the Bore to Run palette. I love this palette and I just can't give it up. It's just too pretty, honestly. It has like every shade you need. It's perfect to travel with. The Mercury Retrograde Palette. I just recently got this palette. palette up not that long ago. Haven't used it much, but the formula is really, really good. I would highly suggest picking these up. Um, I have to use it more clearly, but I really like this formula. So this was the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. That shade's more than... I like the matte shades more than I like the shimmer shades in this palette, but I heard they discontinued it, so that makes me really sad to hear that. Um, but again, I really like this palette, and I like that she put like an empowering quote in it, and I love Dominique. The Modern Renaissance palette, used and abused, not as much as people would think though is my favorite palette of all time, the Master Palette by Mario. I still use it to this very day. Um, I've hit pan on one of the shades, but I try my best not to hit pan, but I'm getting really close to hitting pan on like three or four shades out of all time, and nothing compares to this palette in my opinion, or the textures and the pigmentation. So I would love if Anastasia just remade these shades at least and reduplicated it if possible because there's nothing like these shimmer shades. Anastasia palette is the soft glam palette. This is the Soft Glam palette, one of my all-time favorite palettes as well. Nothing compares to this either. Perfect for anyone and everybody. Two faced palettes. So I have the Pumpkin Spice palette. Love this one. I just like the um, more like pastel spring shades in this one. Like the purples and the greens and the pinks. Face Chocolate Gold palette. My favorite shades in this palette is this one. This one, basically this whole corner are the shades that I use the most in palettes. So I repurchased it and I remembered why I love it. I actually use the darkest brown for my eyebrow shade and I love the shimmer shades. And honestly, this was actually one of my favorite palettes, so I repurchased. And this also is one of my palettes that I love and I will never give up. It's this one because I love this shade right here. This little corner, nothing compares, as well as that shade at the bottom. Um, there's a couple shades I could live without, but it's great event makeup, honestly. Moving into Urban Decay. So this is the Urban Decay Honey Palette. Use neutral shades. KKW, one of those palettes. And Urban Decay Prince palette. And the Mario Times KKW palette. The Muse palette. Mario Matte palette. Eventually. Bullet. Super pretty. Fati Beauty palette. Sucks that her brand is closing. Because honestly, this row is my favorite. And the top row. 
honestly. These are my favorite, like, glitter shades to use. Star, I don't really support Jeffree Star anymore, but I don't want to get rid of the palette either. Even though I don't even think I've used it yet, to be quite honest. But I also don't want to get rid of a palette that hasn't been used, and I think that's wasteful. Jeffree Star Orgy palette. Um, I replace it with tickets to my downfall tape to replace the orgy on the top. And this has been used a lot. Also, need to go back in my makeup kit. And you can see I used crossed out certain words because I was using this for recital makeup on children. I didn't want them to see certain words on this palette. palette but it's still super pretty. I didn't see any point in buying the natural um, glam palette from Natasha Denona when I thought these shades were just so similar to it and so were these so I thought it was super pretty so that was the first drawer so this is the second drawer so this is a customized palette that I made of missing MAC shades ColourPop shades and a conspiracy palette and missing Jeffree Star in different Jeffree Star shades This is for my makeup kit, certain shades that I need to put together. Um, this is also for my makeup kit that I put to the side. Also for my makeup kit, Juvia's Place. Um, I don't touch this palette, but this is just for to keep um, kind of as like collection piece, the old original Naked palette. Then I have also just collector's items, the Conspiracy palette with Shane Dawson. This is also a collector's item, my Game of Thrones palette. I have like Little Mermaid collector's piece, um, 91210, Friends collection. I think that's it. On oh, the Zodiac palette by Beach Cosmetics. Colourpop for green colors. I have Colourpop in blue. Paint palette for the Colourpop. I have Go Away Essence in blue, which I haven't tried yet. I have this brand new Dancing Green palette. I have to try still. A palette from Odin's Eye for these red, oranges, and purple. I go all greens, oranges, yellows. It's really pretty. Palette Nude Mood, I haven't tried yet. Boot Up Beauty Palette, Box Contour Kit. This contour kit is one of my favorites. I love the highlight and the contour shade. And highlight palette is amazing. This palette to just travel with because it has a cream, cream highlight, the powders, the highlight shades, everything about it is amazing. Meguiar ColourPop Collection, also one of my favorite like collector's, item. collector's items. I feel like this drawer is more like collector's items for myself. These ones are more colorful palettes. The Blushed Rose Palette by Juvia's Place. And the Sweet Talk palette by Colourpop. Kindle palette, um, which was definitely a limited edition. Sessions palettes by Huda Beauty. Palette, QAF palette by Colourpop. Favorite MAC shades, which was the Patrick Star collaboration. Bare Minerals, which they don't make this palette anymore, which was the Gen Nude eyeshadow palette. Just shades I pick up once in a while type of shades. Yeah, some other palettes I have is I have this Charlotte Tilbury Luxury pops palette by pillow talk it's like super pretty and it's all like shimmer shades i also have the patrick ta palette this is the major dimension palette also an everyday go-to palette i use constantly since i've gotten it it's basically one of the only palettes i constantly constantly use and this is also an everyday palette because i use it for my brows and you can see i've hit pan on this palette on this shade, this shade. Um, I use this one literally every single time I use makeup for the past four years, and I'm shocked I haven't hit pan, but it is kind of gross, honestly. Um, but I also, yeah, I'm hitting pan on this shade too, actually. Um, but I love this palette. I would repurchase it. I don't even know if they make it anymore, actually. And I actually just recently added these two to my collection. So I have two Pat McGrath palettes. I have the Bronze Seduction palette and the Mothership Subliminal palette. So this one's more cool tone and this one is more bronzy shades. 
so that is my current make this so that is my current eyeshadow collection follow me more on tiktok and instagram please do you guys enjoy this video and i will see you guys soon bye